Iman Gaji, the guy who in the industry of SMMA, he skyrocketed on YouTube and even document his entrepreneurship life from the age of 15. This quite popular guy made everything to success. He made thousands of video before he blew up and became the star. But now he could come back to his videos, analyze his mistakes and remember how it was to be at this age, how it was to find the first client, how it was to starting a business. The problem with successful people is that they don't remember how they started so that they can help newborn millionaires. Now you got to go back in time and watch his old videos. Moreover, you can do the same. And now we are getting back to 21st century. Concert. Someone playing on musical instrument. There is a big audience or something engaging happening. And you know what people do? They are taking their phones out and starting to recording. Even though they don't hear the music, it feels like they're not enjoying the concert, but watching it on their phone. This is how addictive it could be. And also there is studies on that when you are recording, only that you remember is what you've seen, not what you heard, not your other feelings, how you felt. You don't remember this, but you remember only the thing that you've seen. As you've seen from title documenting your life, why, you would ask. And the same question came to my mind when I heard the story from Iman Gaj. First reason why it is simply to remember. To remember your life, how it was, how you started, how you were feeling. Because someday you're gonna die, but memories and videos don't. You just will remember what you've done and you can come back to your past experience and maybe take something out of it. Now, we are taking our camera out when there is something good, cool, or pretty happening. But when there is something sad, it's hard. Still, it gives us appreciation of good days. It can make you grateful for realizing that this day was productive and that you felt like doing it. But on the other day, still should record it, even though you are not feeling like doing it, which is discipline. To discipline yourself to record to keep documenting your life so that then you can recap it. Second thing is overdoing. Overdoing, over documenting your life, over storaging 20, 100 gigabytes of videos and photos is bad. Keep it short, don't do 50 photos of the same thing. Why do you need to have 50 selfies of the same you in the same outfit at the same place? Just make it for memory. I know so many girls that making hundreds, thousands of photos and they are not organized them. 50,000, hundred photos of their library on their library and they never coming back to them. They know that they are just there. And the same was with me. I had my old phone. I had so many photos. One day I wanted to install new OS and my phone crashed and to fix it, I would need to erase all files including photo. And then I remember two or three photos from this phone and others are gone in my memory, even though there was hundreds. Creating a habit of documenting your life is something that will help you because we are living in this era of digital easiness to recording something. Back to our story of Iman Gaji. The things that he recorded maybe wasn't that popular. He just only started. He was gaining experience and he get it. And one day it will help someone. One day some guy will return to his old videos and see him as young boy without any skills. And will see that he started reading books, that he started to speaking with people, communicating, call calling, mailing them. That he found the idea that he solved the problem by creating his social media market agency. He was doing Instagram at time and selling advertisement. Again, solving someone else's problems to become more popular. And now he's giving advice for the same young guy. Or not the same young boy again. He could recap easily. He started documenting his life early. He became successful early. That's why you should do it. Start documenting your life from this day. Find the moments where you feel like you need to recap it. I'm doing every single day Instagram photo, either a video of something that happens in this day. 
is not only helping me to understand and to remember, but also is interesting for my community. It's engaging and it feels like I'm alive. Make a habit of recording videos, recording your thoughts, maybe not for publishing, but, but just for yourself. I have in my voice memos something that is just my thoughts, something that is I could publish, but I won't because I don't want to. Something that is just my reflection on the topic that I've heard, that I've read, that I was told to. And if somebody would ask me, what do you think about this particularly, this book or this, I can just open it, listen, and recap, remember, what have I worth thinking at the time on it. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Record your life, document it, because then you will show it to your kids. And don't be nice, be good, see you in the next one. Wabang.